Hi, I'm Mike Chase. I'm the founder and president of Exceptional Concepts here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'd like to take a moment of your time to show you what we have developed, and we call it the Swing Out Van Rack. It all begins with a concept, and that concept has to be exceptional. Once the comes over from the laser side of the facility, we have the parts over here now, and, and this is actually a Chevy bottom, 3 8 its holes. Uh, we have them slotted for adjustment reasons. One and a half inch tubing is going to fit into these parts, and this is what uh, is going to hold the racks on as far as the um, brackets. We're going to have different uh, bottom. This is a Ford bottom. Uh, this is all one piece that has been fabricated here and has been bent. Those aren't any welds on that. That is all one piece right there. This will be mounted to that and be welded as well. We also have another bracket for the side or rear door Chevy and these brackets come out and these are adjustable as far as up and down to grab hold of the door frame. Over here we have a oil impregnated bronze bushing and that is goes inside the bracket in here and is pressed in there and that's what fits on our one and a half inch post. Also in there, we are gonna have oil and impregnated bronze bushings along with Zerk fittings as well. This is what the finished product will look like once oil impregnated bronze bushings are in there. A little bit of information about this particular rack. This is a 12 inch deep rack, powder coated, 14 gauge steel, utilizing 3 8 inch bolts, one and a half inch tubing here on the pipe. Grease fittings are utilized as well. Oil impregnated bronze bushings. This is attached with 3 8 inch bolts and rivets into the floor and the wall as well. We'll discuss exactly what the concept of the van rack does. It was developed to slow down injuries from reaching in to a van to pull out heavy material. It also can be locked into place by a lock or by a toggle lock. Um, swung out into position and we also have for on inclined areas, we have a locking pin that goes into place. That's gonna hold your unit in place from not swinging back in. You got a bolt down over here that's gonna secure the, the product from not having to uh, rattle around as well. You have the pleat floor of the van is being able to be utilized right now. You didn't hardly take any space up at all. A little information that we need to discuss a little bit about the side door Ford and Chevy vans it needs to be brought to everybody's attention that this utilizes only the cargo doors. You cannot utilize a sliding door in this concept. It just will not work. The difference between a Ford side door and a Chevy side door is the Chevy has this sticking out in the side. The Ford does not. The Ford concept actually sits right inside here and bolts to the side and to the top to where a Chevy has to sit above the floor to be able to get by this. Chevy. It's going to swing out to the outside and it can be locked into place for when you're on an angle utilizing this pin. And another point to be made is this also can be changed out utilizing a deadbolt that will go into the floor and use it as a lock if you want to secure the rack. This can also be used on the back door as well. This is an added option. This is actually a 10 quart holder to hold quart bottles or tools or product as well if you want to do that. It just attaches to the backside on the framework. And this, all this is all powder coated. And once again, all made in the USA right here outside of Phoenix, Arizona.